It's not a kid, though, actually. Richard, welcome back to Minnesota. I need you to come and stand over here. You're going to play the part of my dad. Can you, you see what's there? Yeah. All right. So we're going to pretend that Richard's my dad, okay? And you've got to pretend that I'm a kid. So let's pretend I've been playing basketball outside in the middle of the summer, and I am really hot, and I am thirsty. All right? So I'm going to teach you how you can get your dad to help you get a glass of water if you're thirsty, okay? All right? So remember, I'm playing basketball. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I'm so thirsty. All right. Open the door. Slam the door. Because that's what kids do. Dad, I'm so thirsty. Can you get me some water? I am just, I'm parched. I feel like I'm in a desert. I'm sweating all over the place. Can you see how thirsty I am? Look at my armpits are wet with sweat. I've been playing basketball. I'm hot. I'm just burning calories. You know how desperately I need water. Can you see that? Can you sense that from me? I really need some water. Do you think you have any? Some H2O, some cold, refreshing water. I desperately need some water, Dad. Can you please get me a glass of cold water? Ice would be good too, but if you want, I don't... I'm thirsty. Can you sense that? Yes. What's the, what's the nice word to say to me? Oh, please. Oh, okay. Oh, good. That's how you get a glass of water from your dad. Okay? If I had not carried on that long, he probably would have said no. Although, let's try something else. All right? I'm hot, sweaty, playing basketball. I'm thirsty. All right. Open the door. Slam the door, because that's what kids do, right? <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm really thirsty. Do you think you could get me a glass of water, please? Yes, son. It worked. Look at that. I didn't even have to carry on all crazy, and he gave me a glass of water. Oh, that's good especially when you're really thirsty, yeah. So, here's why we did that silly little experiment, okay? We're going to talk about prayer today. And one of the instructions that Jesus gave about prayer is that when we pray to God, okay, and maybe you fold your hands and close your eyes when you pray, when we pray to God, we don't have to keep babbling on and on and on and on and on and on in order for God to hear us and give us what we need. You know, I came and I was babbling on to get a glass of water first, the first time, right? But I can come to God in, in prayer and say, and pray, God, please take care of me and my family. And I could have a simple prayer like that, and God will hear, and God will answer my prayer. I don't have to keep babbling on and on and on like I did to get a glass of water the first time. So Jesus is teaching us some very important things about prayer. That prayer doesn't have to be long and go on and on and on. God hears even short, simple prayers. He hears and he'll answer your prayers. Okay? So when you pray, like maybe if you go to bed tonight and you pray before you go to bed, it's okay if your prayer is short. God hears your prayers. Maybe sometimes you have a lot of things to pray about and so it's longer, that's okay. But God will hear even short, simple prayers. He'll hear and answer them. That's really wonderful, isn't it? Because I, I didn't really enjoy going on and on begging for water. It was a lot better to just say, hey, Dad, can I please have some water? I'm really thirsty. And he gave it to me. Nice to know that we, can, we don't have to pray all crazy long, but God hears even our short and simple prayers. All right. Thank you, Richard, for helping us. And you guys can head back to your seats. We're going to talk a whole lot more about prayer this morning, okay?